actually, what is the name of the company? We haven't even said that yet. What are we yeah. calling this? I, I call it the Digital Makeup Group because it simply sa it says exactly what it is. It's a it's a it's a group of people doing digital makeup. We're not doing you know VFX per se. We're creating and and working with makeup in a in a new medium, and you know it's a new tool. So what is it that stands out about this film from a makeup and hair uh, perspective? Well, I mean, I was, owe a lot of this to Makeup Artist Magazine for giving us the cover, which was such an honor, because it helped get the word out of the makeup you're not going to see in Dallas Buyers Club, because you're not supposed to see the makeup in Dallas Buyers Club. Howdy, uh, this year's Oscar nominees, which is pretty cool. Thanks. I think it's safe to say that Bad Grandpa was probably one of the dark horses. The content of the film is a, is a bit uh, racy. Once it made it into the seven, I was like, wow, this is, uh, they're, they're really considering this and, and looking past that part of it just to see it for what it is and really consider the makeup. This team just got nominated 48 hours ago or so for the Oscar for makeup for the Lone Ranger. Is that awesome or what? You please welcome to the stage Oscar winning makeup artist Joel Harlow. For the people that have seen this film, you know, it's not just Johnny, it's like there is a multitude of makeup. There's so much makeup in this movie. We yeah. had 86 speaking parts and they were all covered. We had hundreds of background, they were all covered. I met is so cool because so many people were saying like they feel like they don't belong or fit in or nobody understands their love for makeup or makeup artistry but they say when I come to IMATS I feel like I belong, like I feel like it's my family, it's my people.